All right, so can Tiger Woods make a return to golfing? 14 months ago, he suffered a severe injury from a car accident that resulted in an open fracture of his leg. Can he return to golf and still be competitive? Tiger's injuries actually date back all the way to 1994 when he had a tumor removed from his ankle. He had a cyst removed with fluid drain in 2002. In 2007, he ruptured his ACL. 2008, he had arthroscopic knee surgery and an ACL repair. He had an MCL sprain in 2011, a stress fracture of his tibia in 2008, a torn Achilles tendon in 2008, he re-injured it again in 2009, another Achilles strain in 2011, re-injured this Achilles in 2012, and we see that this is on both of his legs. So we do know that he has suffered from previous severe injuries in the past, which is debilitating to him and it's affecting his career and his ability to be competitive. So let's take a look at the severe of this injury and how it's treated. Tiger suffered a open compound fracture or a compound fracture, which is basically an open fracture of his lower leg, which involved the tibia and the fibula. And this created an open wound, which caused the bones to actually stick out of his leg. And while we don't know the exact details of this injury, we do know that he had to undergo a compartment syndrome release. So basically the muscular structures of his leg were opened up with large incisions to let the pressure go down so that we don't cause injuries to the nerves. The fracture was repaired with a rod that was placed into his leg. This is an example of a temporary fixation device that was placed onto Tiger's leg while the fracture was being stabilized to let the soft tissues calm down before the rod is placed into the leg. You can see here some pictures of some previous fractures, although these are not Tiger's fractures. This is what he had. You can see there's a large rod that was placed into his leg. There are multiple pin sites that go into the leg and this helps to stabilize the fracture while it's healing. You can see here's a wound vac that we use on patients like this and we put this wound vac over the wound where we have skin grafted to try to regrow skin and close up this hole. Not only are you getting damage to the actual leg but you're damaging the ankle joint and the bones of the foot because some of the stresses that go through the leg are now going to the joints of the foot and ankle. So do we think he's actually able to return turn? Well, we do know that this is not the only injury that Tiger has suffered from. Can anyone recover from this? Well, let's look at something that I did on a patient that was in his 70s. And this patient of mine is a golfer. He actually had an ankle fusion done. And you can see here's a video from here walking down the hallway. You can't even really tell that he had surgery on his ankle. So he was able to return to golfing actually. What about Tiger? Here he is returning with crutches. He's in a cam walker. These are very common after these types of injuries. Uh, we do know that this is causing a lot of pain to him. Um, you can see he's limping after some of his most recent golf outings. He's used a compression sleeve when he's back to swinging the club again and this helps to reduce some of the fluid because a lot of that fluid will put pressure on the nerves causing increased pain. And when we look at some of these uh, more recent pictures of him, you can see the large scarring that's occurred to his leg and that's from that compartment release that we talked about. So do we think he's actually able to return? Well, we know it's possible because I've had patients return after ankle fusions as I have shown here. I do think it's going to be difficult for him to get back to complete 100% competitiveness as this is a chronic injury. It creates increased swelling. It reduces range of motion to his ankle joint. It's important in golf to have a full range of motion to your ankle because as you're following through your swing, there's a lot of stress that goes to these lower extremities and we know he's ruptured his Achilles prior to this so there's already been previous injury. So his ability to create force like he's done in the past is definitely going to be hindered. So I think while he's able to return to golf, the question will be to be as competitive as he was in the past. I think that's something we're going to have to wait and see. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments section below. It'd be nice to stir up some conversation and some dialogue about what's actually happening during these upcoming tournaments. And I look forward to seeing your comments below.